with Spark on the Street, where we interview growth-minded entrepreneurs and business leaders and discover how they created long-term success and give our viewers insight on how they might be able to do the same. So tell us your name and a little bit about your business. Hello, Sydney. My name is Jeff Abbott, and it's a pleasure to be here with you today on Spark on the Street. I'm involved in a couple of businesses. One is a venture capital fund called Blitzscaling Ventures, where we work with some of the world's fastest scaling companies. And we also have Blitzscaling Academy, where we take some of the same lessons that are being applied to those fast scaling companies and help people that are at a little bit of an earlier stage to learn how to speed up their growth. And then I'm also doing some work with a couple of companies, including one called Buffalo Market, a fast scaling company in LA um, as a part of their growth team. Wow. Do you feel like your businesses are aligned with any trends right now? Absolutely. So one of the things that is changing uh, or has changed in recent years is the ability of entrepreneurs to start companies that grow at breakneck speed. If you think about the way the internet has made it possible for people to connect all around the world, to have a supercomputer in your hands in the form of an iPhone, um, network-based businesses are occurring everywhere. And, and so the type of work that we do right now is we try to identify, looking all over the world, businesses that possess certain characteristics that maybe have that opportunity to become incredibly fast-moving, first movers at scale, um, and possibly dominate global markets. So what are your plans for long-term growth? The next steps, um, obviously, we've just raised Fund 1 and are investing now. Probably two years from now, there's Fund 2, Fund 3. Those are obvious um, potential things. In my case, we've got a couple really interesting things going on. We, we really want to spread the message around the world. I'm really passionate about helping people in other places. Um, I'm not the guy that grew up in Silicon Valley. I've never lived there. I've lived in some of the wrong places in the world. And I don't mean wrong, but I just mean less advantaged places. Um, so for me, I'm, I'm very passionate about, um, I'm a graduate of the Thunderbird School of Global Management here in, in Phoenix, um, which has always led people to have a global mindset. So. I'm passionate about taking these ideas and abilities, um, the ability to help people, rather, um, to other parts of the world. And so we're partnering with Thunderbird School and ASU soon to, um, to teach this stuff around the world. And um, I would say one of my hopes is in the future, and there's no plans for this now, is to launch a global seed fund that would let us find really deserving people in other parts of the world um, to work with and, and hopefully scale into, into big businesses. So I'm, I'm, I'm the guy with the global perspective. That's awesome. Well, it sounds like your heart is in the right place. Let's help them go worldwide. <laughs> you know, let's expand. That That is incredible. I think that's really, really important. And you're right. Um, the entrepreneurial mindset is booming right now. And it's super, super out there. And there's people that just want to start their own thing. And they want to, they want to grow it. They want to follow their passions, their dreams, what they truly want. So, and I'm sure it's not just here in America, it's everywhere. So we definitely want to, yeah, we want to expand that mindset because people don't really think about what's happening um, in the world. You know, the United Nations has estimated that there's 300 million people in the next 10 years that need access to a high quality education. How many? 300 million. Wow. Um, and there's 600 million people in the next 10 years that will need a job. And so if you think about, you know, what does scaling mean? Um, it's actually important. It's actually really essential because many startups will start, they'll have 10 employees. You would need 60 million startups able to employ 10 people, or you'd only need 60,000 companies with 10,000 employees. So giving people the secrets to help scale a business into something that's capable of actually employing people and, and enduring is really meaningful to the world. To the, to the health and success of the world. So that's, that's one of the ways that I check in like with values and say, you know, what I'm trying to help people do is, is meaningful. It's more, it's not just about the money. Right. It helps everyone. It's a win-win situation on both, well, on both ways. Yeah. They say like, I'm not sure the exact statistics, but small businesses employ like 69% or something like that. Are they are like of jobs and everything, you know? So I think it's super important and people need to pay attention to these startup businesses cause, and watch out for them because <laughs> they're going to blow you away. Places around the world, like, you know, Latin America and Africa now where there's a basic layer of technology, you know, mobile, um, it's mobile first. There, there isn't all this legacy infrastructure. And so governments have delivered poor services. There's, you know, a history of corruption. And so many people in the citizenry are dissatisfied. And so entrepreneurs are stepping forward and saying, let us build the solutions. 
and they're building these world changing companies that, that actually make people's lives better. And it's happening all over the world. It's really inspiring. Thank you so much for having me on Spark on the Street. And thanks as well to Manny Turan. It's been a pleasure to be with you today. Thank you so much, Jeff, for your time and for being on Spark on the Street. Here at Spark Partners, we develop business leaders who create long-lasting business success. To learn more, go to our website at sparkpartners.com. Stay tuned for more episodes of Spark on the Street. Bye!